it feels like a mild icy hot that is in your panties like it smells so good like, it guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome 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 and if you're an od but goody thank you for clicking back onto this video so you guys so in today's video i'll be doing a review video with the brand the honey pot so if you do not know what the honey pot is the honey pot is actually a black owned feminine product company that sells products obviously for us females feminine products so you guys so I'm gonna be doing a very detailed review I'm actually gonna break this video into different parts I'm gonna first talk about the brand itself the products that I purchased the ingredients the pricing and my overall thoughts and experience with these products okay so first you guys before we get started to this video if you are new to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button down below join the Tim Cam fan and yeah let's go ahead and get started into this good old review of the honey pot okay so let's go ahead and talk about what exactly is the honey pot and what is the brand you know all about so the honey pot is a natural feminine care brand made by the owner and founder Beatrice Dixon so I actually talked about the honey pot a while ago with the whole controversy with the Target um, commercial that they had um, because some people felt like it wasn't inclusive with everybody if you have not seen that video I will go ahead and link it down below in the description box and probably in the cards the honey pot is a black owned brand a feminine care brand so the whole reason why Beatrice Dixon started the honey pot is because she was suffering from bacterial vaginosis for months and could not get any type of relief so she said that one night an ancestor visited her in her dream and gifted her with a vision to heal herself. Um, with her help, she created the honey pot to solve what other brands wouldn't using the power of herbs. Okay. So the difference between the honey pot and other brands is the fact that the honey pot only uses the good stuff. They do not use any type of chemicals, toxins, artificial fragrance, or any type of synthetics. They are also powered by herbs made with ingredients from the earth and are 100% natural. Um, they are refreshing and healing. They feel fresh and clean while healing and protecting yourself from any type of infections. Um, they are made by women, developed and tested by females because obviously it takes one to know one. And it is also backed by science. All of their products are clinically tested by gynecologists approved. They are biodegradable and cruelty free. And they take care of the most important woman of all, Mother Earth. Okay. So they are made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas. Okay. Period. Um, so they protect and balance your vagina, power by herbs, and made by women, 100% natural. Just from hearing all of that with the whole honey pot, I was like, first of all, I really, really need to try these products. Um, so the honey pot, they sell products such as pads, tampons, feminine washes, feminine wipes, um, panty sprays, and as well as diva cups. They probably also sell other things too, but that's what I can just remember from off here. So let's go ahead and talk about the products that I actually purchased from the honey pot. So you guys, so the products that I purchased from the honey pot, I actually purchased them from Target.com. Now it is such a struggle to even get these products from the Honey Pot's website just because due to the whole controversy that they had with Target, um, the Target commercial and people not being happy with what she said and everything, you know, the black community was like, don't play with sis. Okay, we're gonna buy everything. And sis, it has been very, very hard to get these products, but I got them, okay? Now I've actually been trying out these products for about a little bit over two months now. And I felt like it was very important to try out these products first before I can give you a review. So, you know, I already went through like three cycles. So yeah, so I already know the ins and outs of these products, okay? So the products that I purchased was the Honey Pot Overnight Herbal Infused Pad with Wings. The next product is the Honey Pot Regular Herbal Infused Pad with Wings. The third item I purchased was the Honey Pot Super Herbal Infused Pad with Wings. Now, since all the pads got wings, which I love. And the last product I purchased was the Honey Pot 100% Organic Regular Tampons. And these are unscented organic cotton with bioplastic applicator. Okay, you guys, so now it's next to talk about these ingredients that are in these feminine products. With sis, it is different, okay? So you guys, so with the pads, all of their pads, they actually have um, mint, lavender, and aloe infused into every single one of their pads. Um, they have the mint for cooling, the lavender for calming effect, and the aloe 
for soothing. Now these products has no chlorine, no pesticides, and no fragrance. And they have all three of these ingredients in every single one of their pads. Um, which I noticed they're in every single one of them. So mint, lavender, and aloe, which like I said, it is very different, especially with the mint. But as far as with the tampons, they do not have any type of mint or lavender or aloe in there at all. But they do not have any type of chlorines, no pesticides, and no fragrance. And like I said, these are 100% organic cotton. Um, They have water repellent wax on it. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Oh, and these pads also have rose in here okay i did not know that so they also have rose in this pads um so yeah so yes yeah. so let's go ahead and talk about first of all these ingredients now these ingredients first of all when i first got these pads and i seen the whole mint now the mint honestly the mint um i was like pads with mint it just seems like kind of like weird to me it really is different okay um the mint was very very different um when you first put it on it honestly feels like it feels like a mild icy hot that is in your panties okay now i know that sounds very very unattractive i know it does but it's not really that bad once you get used to it now initially when you do put this on it does have like a nice cooling effect but then eventually it kind of starts lingering just a little bit longer and you, you just sit there and you be like mm, Okay, this is a little different, okay, you know what I'm saying? But after a while, I say like maybe like 30 minutes to an hour, you know, you kind of just forget about it and you just forget that it's even there. Um, the lavender one, um, I like the lavender. First of all, when you first open up these products, one thing I will say, I, I just love the packaging off top. The plastic is just such a great quality. I love the fact that they have these little flaps at the top. It's just to keep like your pads all protected so no type of dust or anything goes in there which I really really appreciate because I have no pads that have like a protective seal on them like this. But sis, when you first open up these pads, number one, you get a massive whiff of the mint and lavender. Like, like it smells so good. Like you guys, like it low-key smells like you know, your vagina is going to have like a little spa day down there during a cycle, like, period. But no, like, for real, like, it smells so freaking good. Like, it's it's not super strong, but it does have like kind of like um mild or um, moderate um scent to it. Like, it's almost as if I could just like leave this slab open and just like leave it in different corners of my room. And like, my room would smell like freaking lavender and mint. Like, it smells so good so good which i really like just because you know the fact like when you do when it's time to dispose of your pads when you it's time to switch them out it actually have like the scent and everything with the lavender and the mint it kind of hides the odor of the pads which i very much so appreciate so as far as the tampons now these does not have any type of scent at all it just smells super fresh i mean it just smells like a tampon it doesn't have any type of scent at all which is something that i really do appreciate because honestly i feel like if they did have mint in here i feel like my vagina will be on flames i'm not lying like i mean i just feel like you know you're putting this up there um i don't need to have mint up there you know what i'm saying i feel like i'm really gonna feel like an icy hot vagina and i don't want that I don't want that. So I am very happy that they do not have any type of mint, especially in these um, tampons. And I think that, you know, the creator and the founder, Beatrice, she actually thought about that. You know, I'm not going to put no mint up there, you know. Just, that, that's just very uncomfortable. Okay, so you guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the pricing of these products. So one thing that I noticed about the pricing of these products as far as on Target.com, I'm not really sure about the Honey Pot website itself, but all of their pads on Target.com are $7.99, including their tampons. They're all $7.99, which is not a bad price at all, especially, you know, when you're getting something that has mint and lavender and some nice oils in there to kind of like help soothe with cramps which it definitely does just one thing that i noticed that i did not like in a way is the fact that 
Um, honestly, the bigger the size that you go, this is a super size, and this is the overnight. The bigger the size, the less pads that you get, but yet the price is still the same. So with the regular, you actually get 20 pads. With the super, you get 16, and then with the overnight, you get 12, but yet they're all still $7.99. Now I understand that the bigger the size, obviously, you know, you're using more products, so it's kind of like low-key the same in a sense. Um, but I just kind of wish in a sense also that, you know, if I wasn't getting as many pads like with the overnight, because I use overnights a lot, um, it would be like, you know, just maybe like a dollar or something just different. Because like when I buy any other type of brand, like, you know, like Kotex are always, you know, when it comes to the smaller packaging of products, the price actually goes down because you're getting less product. But either way, since I don't already restocked on this because since I love them, so it is what it is. But I mean, if you're the type of person that actually looks at pricing compared to the number of items that you actually get, then this may be a problem for you. But since once you try them out, you ain't gonna think about that. But so yeah, so that's just one thing that I did notice. And then with the tampons, they actually have 18 count of tampons in here. Now, I think they have one or two other kind of tampons. Um, And I'm not really sure what the count is because I didn't buy it. Um, but this was the only one I got, but this is also $7.99. So yeah, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about my overall thoughts and experience of these products. Let's go ahead and just compare the sizing of these pads first, and then we can go ahead and get into the thoughts and experience. Okay, you guys, so I have three of my pads right here. I have the regular one here. This is the super, and this is the overnight. So I'm gonna come up a little bit closer so you can actually see. Okay, you guys, so this is what the pads actually look like. Um, This is the regular, this is the super, and this is the overnight. Now I like the fact that they are still color coordinated even within the pad so you do not mistaken which one is for which even if they all like fall out the back which they won't. Um, so as you know the regular is the most thinner one then we have the super which is the green one right here it's a little bit thicker and then we have the overnight at the bottom which is the thickest and it also obviously gets wider as you get bigger so one thing that i do really love about these pads is obviously these scents oh jesus christ the scent is so good like i never had any type of pads that had like a nice fragrance or a fragrance at all i never had any type of pads um honestly i'm not gonna lie when i first tried on these pads and i seen that they had the whole mint situation and i was literally tingling down there which is very very a weird sensation I honestly just felt like since I am like a little bit sensitive down there, I was like, Jesus, please do not let me have a yeast infection from this mint and lavender combo, okay? You know, I never had any type of pads with fragrance and oils and all that down there. But sis, this did not affect me any type of way. I love these products. Like, even when it comes to TMI, even when I feel like, you know, I might be getting like a UTI or something like that and I'm getting like a little bit irritated and I'm not even on my cycle. I will literally put on a regular pad just to get that whole cooling sensation with the mint and the lavender. Like just to kind of like calm everything down and the low key like after like two days or like a day of just using these pads. Because I mean I don't really need it at the moment. But just a day or two of using these pads like I just feel like so much relief down there. And I'm not sure if it really is these oils in here or not but sis it has been helping me because like i said i am sensitive down there one thing to get used to is definitely the mint situation because the tingling is very very different okay when i first put these on i was like whoo that is different okay very different and a lot of people say the same thing because i mean i don't know any products that have freaking mint in it but it's good it smells nice it feels nice i love the fact that with the overnight, it is super duper long, but I also love the fact that it's not as thick as your typical pads because a lot of the time, like with, I think it's, I think I use Kotex or always, um, with their overnight pads, it is thick, okay? When I tell you thick, thick, like when I use one of their overnight pads, like my mom can actually see me wearing an overnight pad during the day. If I wear pants, like jeans or tights, she can literally see the bump on my butt from these pads, but not from these pads, but from the Always and Kotex. But from these pads, even though it's overnight, it's actually thin and you do not see them like through my clothes. And low key, I was really skeptical about the overnight pad being so thin because I'm like, okay, it's an overnight pad. It's supposed to be a little bit thicker to protect you overnight. And baby, it definitely did its job. Even with it looking so thin, honey, 
it can hold a lot okay so i was like all here for it all day okay and the pricing honestly isn't that bad 7.99 for a pack of pads isn't really bad to me in my eyes and especially if it's quality but you have a jd down there you know we need quality we don't want a cheap down there okay but yes yeah, like these products are definitely quality and i actually bought the wash and the wipes which i'm gonna just do a separate video on that um but as far as the pads and the tampons sis i love them both and i don't really use tampons but these tampons i love a lot um so yes i would definitely recommend these products if you have not tried these products already if you can't find these products i will actually go ahead and list them down below in the description box they are available at target for the most part it's very very hard to find and when they are there sis you gotta grab them because everybody in the mall is trying to get these products okay and plus, the number one thing says they are black owned, black woman owned. And sis, like what else is there to say? Okay. But yes, I just love the fact that it's black owned. It actually is a great product. So yes, um, great product, great pricing, great scent, great ingredients. I mean, it just overall is a really good product. Yeah, but if you are sensitive to like different oils and stuff like that, I would recommend to just kind of like stick to the tampons since they do not have any type of oils. Or you can just actually just purchase like one pack of the pads and see how they work out for you instead of purchasing like all of them like I did. But yeah. Um, but yeah, so I would definitely recommend these products if you have not tried these products already. Okay. They are bomb sis. So you guys, so let me know down below in the comment box if you actually tried the Honey Pop products before. What products are your favorites? If you enjoy these pads, what you did not like or what you did like about these products. Go ahead and let's talk down in the comment box below because you know I like to talk to y'all. I comment on everything. Let's talk sis. But you guys, so if you did enjoy this good overview video with the Honey Pop products sis, go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Turn it great and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Bye guys.